Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We will be talking about tips and tricks for DOZ. So let's talk about performance and what other things that you can actually do in base. Excuse my base, it's not really finished because the multiplayer is going to take a long time to come out. So what we will be doing is just discussing a few things regarding the game. Let's first talk about performance, okay? So you see by the map, on the top of the map, you can see that like gear icon. You just click there and then you turn the shadows off. When you turn the shadows off, your game would become a lot smoother. You would not notice any changes, but the game will become a lot smoother. Okay, especially if you are playing on PC and even if you are playing on a mobile, it, you will notice the difference. And even like I'm playing high, so it doesn't really matter. So this is the first thing that you should actually do. And secondly, uh, for the combat system, it's very important for you to use convenience, okay? By convenience, I mean the you, there's no dodge in this game, right? There's no jumping, there is no nothing. There's no dodge or anything. All you can do is just to run away from your enemies, make a distance, and then hit right like for example I have the sniper so what you do is just get further from your enemy and then click the one on the left the auto button you see where my level is on the bottom left there is the auto level so for me I bind it to like the button V if you're using computer or anything just use the button that you're using if you're mobile just press that it will click it will hit the the mob then you run again and click the auto again move click the auto again so it kind of like gives you milliseconds that could prevent you from getting hit from the monster okay very important thing that you can do very important thing uh, Q you can queue the weapons like if you hold if you hold if you put your finger if you tap or if you tap with your mouse for like half a second all the consumables in your inventory will show up here so you can just switch between them so easily this goes along with the weapons as well okay so you see i don't have many weapons in my inventory but let me take three here so the beauty of this thing is that you can actually hold it and then they are already queued in here but remember if you go inside a map or like if you change the map then you will have to do it again so here there's no loading screen when there is a loading screen like for example you go to the warehouse if you go inside the warehouse you will not be able to uh, see it. You will have to do it again. It will come out like this again. Okay. So you can just switch the weapon easily. You want to switch from melee to range or from range to melee very quickly. That's it. So you just keep it open. Okay. And this goes the same, I think, for for your uh, a quick slot. I don't think it goes the same. But if you have a strider vest, you'll just have two, two slots like let me see if I have where's my strider vest yeah for example this one you'll have two slots I think oh you cannot place two items of the same type uh, strider where is the strider sorry I don't know what I'm doing uh, anyway this really is not very important I don't know where it's... Does it have two items here? Can I use it? Tactical vest or nuclear? Okay. So I don't know if I have them, but I don't really want to waste much time uh, on that. I want to show you a bit more of tricks for the game. So, again, you see below this... Below the, the weapon switch button, there's this thing that rotates two arrows next to the crouching one crouching is not really helpful for me in this game because it consumes energy if it doesn't consume energy that that's for fantastic but it does consume so it's not really helpful for me so you go to your settings again next to the map you click on interface and then the target switch button is on because it gets sometimes annoying when you have like multiple mobs okay you get many mobs on you and you there's a specific one that you want to kill and you for example you don't want to aim the boss you want to aim someone else while you're running 
and you don't have much time so you just go and click the target switch like again I would I would do it again you click on the settings which is next to the map then you click interface and then you from off you turn it on and that's it that's done for this one more important thing that you need to understand is every item in the game has a specific purpose okay every item serves a purpose in the game there is nothing that is w wasteful you know uh, one of the things that you need to know is keep your keep your stations running at all times okay like for me i'm not running them right now because it's actually like 4 a.m where i live but at the same time um i'm just showing you like for example i'm making wood wood is the easiest resource to get wood is the easiest resource to get so please don't be scared to craft as many as you can make them into uh, quality planks the quality planks will burn when you burn them on a like a grill or something like that they would burn twice as fast as the regular planks okay so this would really help you out and i am not afraid of using them because like i said it's they're really easy to farm any event that spawns on the map you would be able to get so many so much wood so let's see you see i have 727 wood and let's see I have 524 planks so wood is the easiest thing to actually farm because also when you want to build your base like you need one wood except for the flooring you would need four concrete to build the floor but otherwise when you go to the construction you need just one wood each and then those are like the outer gate of your base you can build them with two wood but you don't really need that right now okay so keep your stations occupied like you can uh, just keep them crafting and and this is like some of the most important stations the furnace or which is the avril this one where is okay buildings the anvil sorry the anvil is one of the most important buildings okay these workshops and this workshop and the planning bench are the most important ones this one is also important, but the other one is just to build everything else. Okay, it's, it's very important. Now, let's talk about energy management. Okay, I have done test trial and error, right? And I don't want you to do the same mistakes I have done if you're a new player. The best energy that you can get at the moment in game is six, uh, per six seconds you get 30 HP and one energy every six seconds what you will need to build you will need to build a bed let's see where are the where are the beds you need a sleeping bag okay sleeping bag you build one wooden bed you build one and wardrobe you build one okay okay so you don't need to build this actually now because they removed it it used to re re restore restore energy now it doesn't they give you a maximum of five beds, right? But do not, do not listen to what. They're all just decorations, okay? So you just get one bag of uh, one bed of each sleeping bag, one wooden bed. That's it, and that's what will help your region as much as uh, as much uh, energy as as you can. What else can we talk about here? Yeah, like energy. If you get now I am thirsty, right? I'm just gonna drink. But a lot of people complain about energy, energy, energy. Like, what am I going to do? My energy is depleting quite quickly. Well, you have a lot of food. Okay? This food you will always be able to replenish. Like, I don't need all this food to use. Okay? You can use it for HP. And you can use it for uh, energy. Like, for example, this is the best one that you can craft at home. And it's really easy to make. Like you will forget about it, but you'll get like 20 or 15 or 16. Just, just you know, you'll get 8 energy per, per one. So these will give me 96 energy if I eat all of them. From zero, I'll get 96 energy out of these. But the most important one is that you actually get by chance. Where is the artifacts? Artifacts are here. So this one would refill, immediately would refill your energy by 100. So right now I have how many, how much? 
So I have a thousand, thousand, two thousand three hundred energy I can regen immediately if I want to. But I don't, I'm not gonna use it because I don't really need it. I can regen quite quickly at, uh, at my base. Like when I come back to the base, there's like by the time I fill workstations or I empty my inventory, my energy is like back at 80 or 90 percent, sometimes 100. Like it doesn't take long for it to regen, right? So you can get those energy boosters, the blue diamonds or the blue cloudy looking things from the artifact identifier. OK, like when you have this unidentified artifact and then you get a uh, uh, disc ident identifying disc you may get you have a chance of getting these you get three pieces of this so that means 300 energy okay if you get hunger and thirst and you don't really want to eat or uh, or drink and you have like high radiation and everything all you need to do is take off all your items all your items take them off so you don't lose durability I come close to this door click the door here and then you'll get damaged from the from the firefly here you see when you click it it will come back to you here and then it will start damaging you for like 50 hp each you see my my hp is now depleting it will take time but it's depleting so anyway i'm not sure I, it used to just zap constantly now it's not so I don't understand. Is it fixed? I don't know if they fixed it, but looks like they did. Or if you, if I take off all the clothes, maybe I'll get. Uh, but you get the idea. So you can actually suicide through there rather than just wait for your HP all to deplete and stuff like that. Uh, also, what do we have? We have yes, uh, the boxes. Like, for example, you you need easy access to your boxes, and the, the boxing system in this game is not really good. The best part about it is that they're all integrated into one inventory. But what they are lacking is the organization. Like, for example, I have the anvils here, right? So the met this is metalwork. That's where you do all your metalwork. I keep all my metalwork stuff here. And then I have another chest because the first one is not enough. So I keep the rest of them. Sorry, this is messy, but but you get the idea. If you want, just keep it beside it. Um, keep the the box that you need beside its station. For example, here is the food. I have the food somewhere here. Uh, I think it's right here. That's the food. Then the bicycle was here, but then when I built it, it got removed. So here I ha I put modifications. That's where the bicycle parts are. So this would help you just have easy access, really, but that's about it. What else can we talk about here? Yes, when there are events, always, always loot the event. Like when you have an event, like for example, an abandoned cabin, a bandit camp or besieged house, always chop all the trees first. All the trees, chop them so they can give you plenty of space to move around. Okay, otherwise it will be sometimes difficult for you to um, to do anything. So that, that's, that would be quite helpful for you. So they told us here. So what else can we actually talk about? I think this is pretty much it really for the time being. Uh, otherwise, if you get like stinky and stuff, there are uh, wet wipes or antiseptic wipes that you can use to remove the smell, the bad smell that attracts monsters. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, one more thing. If you are getting back from events, always have a chest here where you can keep your gear. Like for example, here you will spawn here. Always keep a chest like here. This chest should contain the mid tier or the high tier. Let's say you came back from the besieged house, you have all your items, the good items. And let's say now you want to go to farm into the quiet grove. Or let's go to iron iron wasteland. So what you do is, okay, you need this to get the, uh, the concrete and the metal. So you change into like the lower level gear. So I would 
go into this and go into that and then I would return these into the storage and then find any low level weapon so I have already a wrench maybe I'll take another wrench I'll keep the rest for next time so this will just keep you on the move keep you faster and stuff also durability so let's say this one is is red right you will have to go and in your basement you will find this upgrade bench okay so the upgrade bench what happens is you have these toolboxes you have weapon box and toolbox the toolbox would upgrade your armor while the weapon box will upgrade your um the the weapon box will upgrade the weapons and the toolbox will upgrade your armor okay let's see what we can find here that we can actually up upgrade let's see let's see if we can upgrade this at a level three sorry I have so many chests and they are all messy that's why we need like a search function we we could really use a search function in, in this so we can just find the item that we want easier but let's see this one is level four or three okay i think this is level okay so now you see like this is the durability is like three percent okay four percent but then if you use one of those weapon boxes to upgrade this weapon the durability would reset and you will have extra damage and you will be able to extract material much more efficient. Like for example, if it uses three energy, now it will use two. Okay, like now you see the damage is between 255 to 270, but after the upgrade, it will do damage between 374 and 390. So this is quite an upgrade on that, okay? You can use gold if you wanna speed up the process or you can just wait. The, every item will just take one minute. And if you wanna see where the upgrades are, can see them right here all of it okay so in the meantime if it's like uh, loading or I mean if it's if it's processing it takes one minute you can just do something around the house you know um, so let's see what else can we do I think we are actually done here so for example yeah like I mentioned before like keep your chest close to the table that you're gonna use for example you would see like all these items like water sugar wheat fat and uh, rubber tires I keep I keep all of them right here whatever I would need I'll just keep it right here okay and yeah this is pretty much it for now please stay tuned for another video the other video is probably not next video but the one after it or it could probably be next video it depends on when i'm actually able to publish it but uh, i will be recording what i am anticipating for the updates in the future which would include the multiplayer events unlocking the new basement among many many other things so please stay tuned and i really hope that you find this beneficial if you are a pro player that's great, but this is mainly a tutorial for the new players, and I really hope that you found this helpful. Please, if you like the guides, please comment in the section and tell me what you would like to see and what other things that are lacking that you would want to see. And if you'd like, you're more than welcome to subscribe. I would review this game and other games as well in the future, but I would not give up on this game just yet. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and... I will see you in game. Bye.